Hi. So what I'm going to be doing now is talking a bit about who he is and what it's all about. Before I start, before I begin, I would like to show you this. Uh, so OES is a combination of six different modules. I call it a system because inside it there are different modules. So we have a performance management system, we have the stakeholders relationship management system, we have the student management system, and we have the enterprise resource planning management system. Okay, so uh, on top of all this, I also have a um, different reporting system which are linked to the data analysis system. So the data analysis, the data analysis system helps us to work with the uh, annual school census for the system. I mean, annual school census is actually uh, used by the Ministry of Education in actually designing the policy that is being used to treat our education, how budgetary uh, allocation is being allowed, I mean, it's being allocated to each of uh, every aspect of education. So quickly, I'm going to be showing you through uh, OES. So this is OES. The student can register here, the school can register here, and you can create uh, a lecture. This is for the ER, the OES ER. So um, if you look at this, if I click on this, it's going to show me through, I mean, show me, take me to all the uh, information that they enter through the OESER. And that means it's useful for out of school students. So I'm going to be logging in so that you can see what is inside it. Um, let me log in as a teacher to a particular school. Um, it's asking for the traffic lights. It's a traffic lights. Um, traffic light so let me submit okay now let me now submit so when I logged in when I'm already in you can see here, this is a teacher that's the role of the person that logs in now um, is in this school this is he use I mean that that shows that this this application is being used right now part of the traction okay so you create notes here when you create notes here it takes you directly to where you can create notes you can see this is for grade 2 because the person is in grade 2 and uh, you can fill in the form and that analysis you can see this school these are teachers and these are the people who are using it how they are preparing the school um, notes for the student so I'm going to be logging out and this is where you profile the student you can see you can see create user create scheme of work you know you can actually see all that inside here so I'm going to be logging in and logging out now and you can see the scheme of work. I'll log out now. So any school can come in and profile his or own scheme of work inside the application. So thank you. Let me log out. So right now I'm going to be logging in as a student. Okay. I'm going to be logging in as a student now. Uh, so I'm logging in as a student now. So I've already logged in as a student. Um, so you can see the classroom. You can see my test room. If you have a class, if, I mean, if you have a test, you can just go to the test room and you see all the tests can be deactivated. Can be activated can be activated so if I click on the my classroom um, so this is my classroom I can even go inside the classroom you can see scroll down you see most classroom there um, so what I've already click on my classroom so you can take me inside the classroom um, on the classroom I'll see my notes I can see my notes I can see I can do video conferencing with the teacher that I want to uh, train or the teacher that wants to give training can also connect with you. I can see my screen on the board on the I mean <coughs> class work and I can do exams. I've already shown where I can do exams. I can download my uh, my assignment here and this is my class notes. I can download it also, you know. And um, you see you can see the notes here. Um, so I'm back. So this is it for now. Thank you.